Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we've got the fence here and it is time to do some mowing. We've got a rather unusual mowing setup here. So we've got a Aussie front and rear mower. And also we've got a rear mower that's got a hitch on the back and a PTO shaft. That is going to enable us to power this bather and that we are assigned to the lease. Yes, I know we've got our own beta and that, but I thought, let's give this a go. If this is going to be like a one one setup, why not do it? Why not give it a go? The mower can do swap, so that is a plus for us. Even if it turns out we can't really do much uh, mowing and being at the same time for whatever reason, then at least we will have a mower. Or maybe get a mower, should I say. But yeah, can let us mow and win at the same time. I think we have to just go around and pick all up afterwards, so... We'll get everything unfolded. So yeah, if we have a look here, this is all part of the ultimate mowing and baiting pack. So yeah, I am very hopeful how this will work, so... Yeah, 159. So we need to toggle the work mode to swap. So there we go. That's on, that's on, that's on. Got fill up with storage additives. So now let's go and home. Let's see how this works because. That is going to be the goal for this episode, is get all these grass fields mowed, bailed, and wrapped. And then, yeah, we'll leave them for at least a month for them to ferment. Obviously, it's going to be a bit more in that, but... See, we're already not too bad, I think. Just hopefully, yeah, it works out well for us, because if it does, then... I know what we'll be spending on in the coming year. Power wise, we're managing. Obviously, I think the optimal speed is 40 miles an hour. 14, 15. We are doing it just about, so. Yeah, I am not complaining. The fact that we're able to do this is absolutely amazing. Obviously, in that episode where we made huge amounts of money off, just everything to send stuff in that. Aussie right to the cookies just yet, and... Oh, that is one thing, this does struggle to steer. Ah, that may be a small problem. So yeah, now we're having issues with... missing bits. Oh, great. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. Yes, it's like, I think it's like the weight, like, yes, the weight, because it's to turn the steering wheel. Ah, uh, no, well, let's just give this a go. And hopefully this should be fine. Maybe what we can do is get a second wind rover, mount to the front of a tractor, and then wind rover and bail that way. But yeah, I think just with the beta and that, it's having the issues. Maybe we need a different tractor, but we're already at one of the biggest tractors you can get. Now there's some, like, some heavy modified and tuned ones, but I don't remember to go for that. We just want to use our own tractors and that. Yeah, but money. If we want to spend 400 grand on a new tractor, that is fine. I don't do that. That's because, yeah, I want to save our money. We've still got 600 grand alone to pay off, remember, as well, so. Yeah, I don't want to go just spend all of our money on new equipment and that until we figure out a plan for next year. So, I do want to go with land as well, thinking, get some land in. Obviously, just have a 
one of the things I want to do is like a huge grain harvest. Like, you know, you just have a bunch of wheat in that. Or barley, whatever. Because there are common crops grown here in the UK now, especially in this region of Bamwell, Somerset. See the typical like wheat and barley and rape seeds so, or like, canola. They're the common crops you'll see grow around in the UK in general. You may have also things like corn, but not so much as basically I think like the farm simulator now where you do corn that is more treated as a maize crop whilst here in the UK, we use corn more so for like cereal. Yeah, it's a bit confusing when, when I learned that, but apparently that there is a difference. Like obviously the headers are not like if you watch like Clarkson's farm now, the headers are different. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, it's just one of those things I've been sort of finding out recently. Yeah, it's just you know, it's one of those things where you're bored and that, and or especially when you're in between episodes and when you're editing and just let things render and that. Yeah, you've got a bit of time to kill and the mind wonders, that's for sure. The mind does wonder indeed. So yeah, actually I'm show like how much of the moon have we got to do. So we have a look. We select our grass. Look at what's ready. So we've got this field, so yeah, we've got all of these, so actually I may think it's worth getting a fleet of mowers in. Where would be the self propelled ones? Well the self propelled one at the crew being in four fifty in there. What? I don't know, but Yeah, I think that is a option for us that we've got to do really because yeah, with all this we're gonna struggle with getting all this done. Especially if you remember to put the times up back to times three as it should be. But yeah, I think with the bathing and that we will need a window, so actually how much horsepower is that bather and that? 150 requirements. So I'm thinking if we go to our wind rowers. So if we want to look something like that, that is 390 we're looking at. 390, 500, so ideally that would be the fent. But at least, anyways. The mowers, can we put the Massey on this? Because the Massey, if I have a look, 435. And yeah, that is definitely capable of doing the mowing. So yeah, if we use the Massey for the mowing, with this particular cell, and then we yeah, go in, get the fence, put it on to the wind row and the bader. Yeah, just rack it up, mow it. Yeah, see how it goes. So yeah, I think let's do a little quick time lapse of getting all this sorted on this field at least, and then we'll have a look at getting a not a brand new fleet, but a whole fleet leased in. You know, get those workers, workers going and all that. So yeah, let's get it done. Shouldn't take us too long, maybe about a minute or so for you folks. And yeah, I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
think it was like two bells to reproduce. It's obviously where we're producing the more denser bells. It makes sense now. Because that's the thing I want is have a ton of bells and nowhere to restore them. Yeah, I know we've got the co-op in that we can use, but do you want to avoid that where possible? Also, we've got tons of flour being produced, so we need to get that taken care of. So yeah, let's go and get these bells sorted. There we go, that's one. And got our second bell over here, so we have a little look first of all. So these are round bells, yeah, 67 and a half thousand litres, so... Yeah, they're starting to ferment now, so I think if we get all sorted and wrapped, then we can just leave them on the lorry to ferment. And then when it comes to time to sell next month for February, that will be when we'll go, so... So yeah, get the worker back on that. And uh, we've gone and leased this, the Chrome Big M450. There we go. Just enable fast farming. That's why I'm sticking with this, because I know we can fast farm with this. You know, Mo at basically top speed 24, 26 miles an hour. Obviously, I am being cautious with what I'm doing, because I do not want to miss bits. Yeah, I've already got worker on it whilst he was wrapping those bells and getting this over, so worker's already been busy. So in fairness, we don't have much left, I think. Obviously, if we have a little spell, there are bits where we have missed with seeding, like when these first started growing, I'm thinking like, like this bit here. How did I miss those? How? Overall, not worried because it's one of the things I can make. Luckily, it's just grass, so. The end of the world. Of course, our plan is also to sort of turn these fields over. Because, yeah, I should have a look at it. It's take two months for the grass to grow, so it is April when we get our next cut, so. Unless we're planning on doing any crops in March, I'm looking. If we're going to do grain, I'll do barley. Barley and rapeseed. I want to do corn maybe as well. Not doing corn. Can we on the sugar beets? Sorghum, yes. And maybe field beans if we go down that route, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think, you know what, actually we won't turn these fields over because yeah, we'll get another cut out of them. And then, yeah, that could be more silage or even just hay. <coughs> Actually, I may want to look at the premium expansion because I may, by the time we get to next year now, we'll have access to the premium expansion. So maybe we could do carrots and that. Turn those back up. Oopsie there, my bed. Yeah, I'm gonna get the premium expansion. Yeah, do grapes, not grapes. Do you know that like, your red beets and all that stuff? Just keep in a bit on the edges, so we just be careful of that. But, yeah, you know, get some red beets, parsnips, and that, and carrots. If I go down that route, I will try to use the actual equipment for it, a part of the expansion pack. I know there is so, like, watching other YouTubers playing with it. I know when Dagman first did his videos on it, the pain with the spore stuff, even with the self propelled one, where you got to be on site with the worker and that. And there's ones where you fill up. He had it, so you think if I go down that route, I'm gonna have a look with mods now. So I'm gonna see if there's any like large pallets, you know, nothing shipping over the top. Maybe worst case the 10,000 litre ones we get with the A2 Studio Global Transport ones, but it's 
Well, if you come out the, you know, the fillable pads, you know, your typical normal looking pad is where you fill up in that. And just fill that up to the top, so. so yeah, I think if we do that. Then, yeah, we can just get a lot of stuff and get the soup going in there if you want to. Obviously, I wasn't going over the top with the productions, but. Yeah, so we get the triple soup going, that is very profitable. So, yeah, I think if you make triple soup with the. Optimized with the red beans, carrots, and parsley. As far as I can recall, looking at the prices and the, you know, the production chain cost per cycle and cycles per month, that is the most profitable one to have. So, yeah, I, don't think, yeah, I know the individual ones aren't as profitable, they're still very profitable, don't get me wrong. You get even more money if you do all three at once, so. But yeah, you may play these a lot, this is all come out. Like, you may have to make changes for it for a while when doing one next test play series. So, yeah, in terms of the upcoming next plays, I know I've been lacking content last week or two, just with me having court problems coming out last week because. A lot of it is simply I batch recorded so many court farm episodes before before all right, get all these recorded and then go do buy spray and survival charge on Newman Sand. But then combination of just not feeling great, feeling a bit down and just busy with IRL stuff, just when that literally when this comes out over like last week or so of the court farm episodes that last Three or four episodes have been just pre recorded stuff where I've been gone around and edited it only recently, so do apologize on that. But yeah, plan for next let's plays at least is going to be another survival challenge let's play series, but in a way similar to what Dagger is with Vintage, but not on the same map and slight different parameters. but. I was going to say slightly different because, as I learned from my Survival Challenge Let's Play series, where you don't set yourself any boundaries or limits, and basically where it's an open game, it does lend itself to becoming very non survival very quickly. So, yeah, I've learned from that, and I'm going to be moving on from that. Oh, just a little belch there. I think that's you know what, we'll go up here next. And then, yeah, where would I be on Zilonka? Maybe look at other, like, Polish maps or, like, you no know, German maps. See if there's any American ones that lend itself to it, but the problem there is there's so many maps where it is, like, you can have a bit aspect of it. But you know, like, the surrounding environment. Like, even here, like, can't be too vintage on Court Farms, because a lot of this is relatively modern, like, the last 10 or 20 years. And I do my survival, vintage survival series, it's going to be more of like your 1980s equipment, maybe 70s. 70s and 80s, so that's what I would call vintage in the way it comes to farm stuff. I like, try to keep it like 50 years old, so that'll be coming out in 2024 at Let's Play Series, so mid 70s at latest. I know there have got so many old mods on mod hub, so yeah, I'm sure there's mods where it will lend itself a very to that. 60s, 70s, 80s vibe. And we want to do that series is progress it, have multiple seasons. So basically, multiple let's plays, but it all follows each other rather than like what I'm doing at the moment, where each let's play series is separate. Have like a series of let's plays where it's all integrated together, all fine woven together in a way. 
obviously has to be not so much difficult, but you know, have like one that's close series in the 70s, one in the 80s, and then 90s, and then the thousands. You know, something like that. Rock is still going on at this. Good. Nemo's having some issues, so if we have a look at grass, see what's been mowed. So I think if we next head down to 52 and that, get down here done. Uh, that's the cow pen field, so we ignore that one, we ignore that one, ignore those. So we've got 57. See, that's our field, so. Yeah, I think if we head down next, start doing 52. Or do we start doing like some debating on this? I think that's what we'll do, we'll start doing debating. And then we'll just, you know, chop and change, do intimate bits here and there. So yeah, that's what I think I'll do. And I think, yeah, so much work to do. The best way to get this done is another little short time lapse, so yeah. I'll go and get this done. Actually, I'll get that mower sent over. And I'll start mowing, and yeah. We'll get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. Fence. 
That's why the fuel in this is so low, but... So yeah, we'll have a look in a moment on how many bells we've got, because there is no bell counter on multiplayer now. Since we're not running precision farming, it doesn't tell you the bell count from the beta itself, so... But yeah, what we're going to do first of all is return this, but we're going to keep everything else, because we're going to be using this in March, so... Uh, March and April, obviously March when we're doing contracts now. And it's going to cost us more to lease them again if we just keep them now. So we'll store them somewhere and we'll just dump them now, as we've done here. So 120 years left. But yeah, one of the things I want to do before I start picking up these bells is actually have a look at. Oh, yeah, that's all of the fuel there. Yeah, I was going to look at getting that digestive production in because it was all about that, weren't we? Obviously, we're leaving it quite late now to deal with it, so... But yeah, man, that sunrise, that is absolutely bright, so... Let's skip ahead an hour or two. There we go. We yeah, are currently no great demands for anything in particular. Got some more stuff spawning. Actually, we can do with some more... Uh, what's it? The apple juice and apple honey. Got a great demand at Value View Store, so I don't know what's wrong with this side panel. Is I try to get time to go back to, and I was like, whack in the bar and do something, and uh, nope. So yeah, uh, let's park up over. I shouldn't. We'll park up over here. We'll quickly top this up with fuel. There we go. So then the thing about putting it down over where we've got the cookie factory and all that too, so... Let's get this side panel open, so... Where is the trigger point for this? There we go. Okay, that's fair enough. So yeah, let's turn the engine off, because it is a bit loud, so... Yeah, I'm thinking over here somewhere. What you want to do is do a cheeky reset just to move these traders out of the way. So, yep, get you moved and get you moved. Obviously, if you get the mower out, we can mow this and get a little bit cut from this, a little bit of slidage. But uh, ain't gonna worry about that for now. So, yeah, I'm thinking. Actually, let's see the size of the production. So it's under factories, and it's not too far somewhere here. After the coal production, there we go. The first production so it requires lime, manure, and water. So actually, we can place it here and not have too many issues. So yeah, up to about here. I'll say try for that now. So. We'll go and do that, so go to our landscaping, go to level, select a point. Apologies, sir, I was losing my voice a little bit, so yeah. We'll select a point we want to, so we will select this level here. And now we just want to do is just go and level all this out. Okay, now it's kicking in there, it's like... Pretty much leveled up to here, so yeah, just go, just go here, and we just want to smooth this off, level it off to the point it is happy. There we go. Just, and that's being this. Just going over a few times. There we go. And any bits over here we may have missed or may not have missed. There we go. Maybe you can turn this whole area here to the little production area. Like get a couple of small productions in. Again, nothing crazy, nothing over the top. Okay, so yeah, I think we go down with it, the whole premium expansion is a premium expansion DLC. That'd be a very good area to put down over here, somewhere out of the way. But um, again, if we do that, get the uh, that's the thing. If I actually do go and get it. 
I will actually go around the map first of all, see if there's any areas that would, you know, like, suit, suit it quite a bit, like, you know, be very suitable in that. Just go and just put a bit of gravel down. Don't really want to concrete everything. Okay, now we've got a bit of a raised area over here. What we want to do is now just go over here, grab an R softened terrain. And we just want to give it all a little smoothy, smoothy, smooth. Maybe even the slope terrain. Maybe just, yeah, a little gentle slope perhaps. Just, you know, gently slope it. That's it. Something like that to so do. Actually, what I should think softer may be better here. Yeah, if you not, we'll just sit too soft in the terrain. It costs us too much money. And that's the thing, I'm not afraid to landscape, since we do have a bit of extra money in the bank account. Just a little bit of extra money, not too much. We can get away with messing around the landscaping. That's the thing, like, obviously if you're on PC, there's mods and that to help you with that. I often mitigate the cost, but we already don't have that luxury here on console, so... But yeah, I'm happy with everything, so not crude oil. There we go. Maybe you want this as well. Oh, that is a big building though. That is a big building. Do we want to make our stuff? Oh, I don't think so. I think really all we want to make is digestate, so no, something there. Something close, not too close. There we go. Something like that, I'm happy with. It's not too close, and I'm guessing it comes out of there. Where does it go in? I think maybe the corner. But yeah, this is why I want this particular production, so we can use manure and water, and a bit of lime, and that will get us not only solid fertilizer, so we don't have to pump them up. That's the thing, we just what got like 90,000 litres of solid fertiliser, but we can make them and store them and if we need to maybe sell some. But the main thing is I'm looking at is the digestate, that is a good ratio of 2.25 thousand litres to 750 litres of digestate. We do need the lime though, so I will be buying lime, so Actually, before I do anything, we'll look at our traders. Does the Trans-70 accept lime? Does it hold lime? Yes, it does. So, let's get 70,000 litres of lime. Because, yeah, again, if you want to get a lorry in that over here, that's going to be a tight area. Actually, hmm, no, the... Now, nah, it holds 9,000 years, our lorry does with the autoload function, so we won't do that. But yeah, we'll go to our pallets. And I'm not going to use uh, these ones here. I don't think we can get the line from this, I don't think. Barley and all that. Side fertilizer, yes. But no line. No worries. We can get line from these so there we go so yeah just quickly little jump cut there so yeah get lime from here from the micro greenhouses so 1200 for 8000 litres of lime or 1500 for 8000 litres and you know what we'll go over these so we'll need eight of these yeah but these a little more but then we won't have be able to carry it so 64,000 litres is fine. Now let's go and grab the fence and get the lime over. And here we go with the lime. So yeah, we did actually purchase a bit of extra lime to fill it up to 70,000 litres. So 
now, where is the actual trigger mark to? Yep, the fall's going to be there. So yeah, let's back it up. Do we need to open it or what? Nope. Don't need to do that. So lime's going in. And we only needed 8,000 litres of lime. Lovely! Only what we'll just see this here for the time being in, I guess. Or something like that. Actually, how much lime does it consume a month? So... Ten, two and a half thousand litres. A hundred, twenty-five thousand litres, so... Yeah, not too bad, all things considering. So, yeah, we'll leave this here for the time being. Also... We need manure, so we've got the wheel loader over here with the size forks, and yeah, we've got a buckload of manure. I think we've got over 3,000 litres in already, or nearly 3,000 litres, whatever. I don't know, it was just about four, four, six thousand, four or five thousand litres, sorry, already in. Next, we'll just go and grab these and just fill it up and take it over because yeah we've accumulated so much manure and uh, whether or not that was designed by oxygen deep or not no an oxy I'd say or I guess probably yes it was the purpose of it like no store manure here and I am happy for that so we can just go and grab manure and uh, store it over here where and when we need it things like muck spreading or in our case for productions. There we go. Yeah, I think I know we've got a lot of straw and there is mainly straw productions that could utilize this, but I'm not gonna go down that route like with the straw manure factory. I ain't gonna use that that is way too OP that is. And for things like Numa Sand, it's fine for here. We're already here enough money as it is at the moment, so I don't think we need earn another 100, 200 grand just from the byproducts of doing contracts. No, I don't think we need that, and that's for sure. And yeah, we've got this bucket and one more there, if you will. That one's almost filled, so I'll put some in here. It'd be interesting to see how much we've got. I knew it was going to be over 30,000 litres, maybe towards 40. That's why I got both traders over. But were they actually needed in the end? Just shove that in there. Okay, that is, yeah, definitely need that second one because that is filled. Fine. Just shove the other six or seven litres in there. Yeah, Ooh, more than a full 51,000 litres of manure. Now it's going to take us over to the production. Can we get out of here, please? Yes, we can. That's good. And there we go with the manure. So. I think if we empty the back one first of all, on that two tips side right, back is selected, yes. And we'll see if that fills it up. There we go. Putting the manure in, if I had a guess, probably new. Looking, so it's 3,000 litres, looks like. So, yeah, actually, do need to put that in, so we'll disconnect that. There we go. Okay, that was a bit, should just move out of the way. There we go. So is that filled? That is filled. So if we start skipping ahead time a little bit. Help me out here. 
helps if you turn on the production. And there we go, it is consuming that to very quickly, so I actually needed more manure because what is the ratio? It's a four to one and we've got way more than that, so let's skip to the morning and see where we stand afterwards, because yeah, we may have bought a bit too much lime, I think, here. So after a little cock up there, yeah, just with the capacities and that, we are done. We are out of New York, so we've got 80,900 years of digestate here. On the top with the 20,000 years we've already extracted. In terms of with solid fertilizer, we've got 51 thousand litres of fertilizer and yeah that is a lot of fertilizer that is so let's go and have a look let's look at prices so digestate where's that to be down here so yeah digestate we're looking at around apparently prices ain't great now so is going to go up even more in May. But yeah, even if we set that now, we got 40,000 litres. That is 80 grand of the digestion we've got here. So nice. However, solid fertilizer, we're looking at about. 4,850 years. Best time to sell it is now, pretty much. And yeah, if we sell it now, that is just shy of quarter of a million. Wow. <laughs> but no, we're going to sell it. Unless we need my desperately, we will sell it. But I think what we do is we'll store this away, we'll put the um, lying away. So yeah, we'll just put the rest of the lime in here. Didn't need that. But yeah, lime always comes in handy with things like doing the field work and that. So we'll store the lime, store the fertilizer, but we will sell the digestate. But now I think to run off the episode, we'll leave it where we are at the moment at 0.5 times speed. Yeah, we need to pick up all of our mails. So yeah, we've already got two. And I can see another two, three. Well, two is just not rendered in now, but yeah, we've got, so we've got a fair few bells here. So yeah, let's end the episode here by picking up all these bells. A little quick time lapse. And then we'll see how many we've got afterwards. Let's go this way, I think, first of all. short time lapse there off just getting all the stuff picked up we've got the John Deere here because we need to move some honey and that over but yeah so we've got 20 bells we don't see much however each bell is 67 and a half thousand litres and actually they're already sighted so yeah 1.35 million litres of sightage and we've still got close to about seven, eight hundred thousand litres. I think it's about, yeah, somewhere between the two. I think. Open this up. Have a look. 364,000 litres. And yeah, if we open this, we'll sell this tomorrow. So, yep. Just under 800,000 litres. So that is 
million of the years we've got and I'm on the wrong account. I was just <laughs> looking for stuff, so yeah, let's go amend that. So yeah, that is what? 2.1 million of the years. That is about one point. Basically, we're gonna double our money because we have a look at the sell prices. Go to your signage. 570 is the average. At the moment, we can get 570 at five down bells. Oh, we can do 577 at the town store bells. I want to gamble. We'll see if that goes higher than 577. Because, yeah, we'll do a big session in the next episode. But, yeah, also, we've got. The money's gone down a little bit. That's because we've leased the. Sugar be cut trader. The trader has got the bit on the end. Pull out from you. Sorry. Yeah, the bit on the trader that lets you. Uh, what's it? Shred up the sugar beets. And obviously, that creature should be cut because we need sugar uh, desperately for the apple honey. We've got about 16,000 euros, give or take, off the apple honey, so. No, 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 not apple honey, 60,000 litres of the uh, sugar beet, that was it. Yeah, just trying to get it out there then, but yeah. Obviously, is it worth doing this? Uh, a little bit worth it. For just 60,000 litres, maybe not so much, but I thought, heck it, anyways, we're, we're going to do it anyways. It's going to be slightly more profitable and. Bricks on there, so yeah, we'll just bring these across, just sack them up. Oops. Say sack them up, not lob them up. Yeah, we'll get his over because that is out of honey, is stop producing. Not sure how long that's been like that for. Okay, yeah, I admit I did was a bit slight neglect there on that production, but anyways, we are fine. We can touch one pad in to kick it going again now. Oh yeah, seems we've got some honey here spawning. Don't get stuck. I thought, heck it, I'm just going to grab it. And take it over. So there we go. That is... I was going to say, I'm sure it's going to be more than that. There we go. 2,861 litres, so let's go and put you in here. So there we go, and all that and the other pad we put in. So we're down to, yeah, 3,200 litres off, honey. And yeah, 222 litres off sh sugar, that is. Yeah, it's a game crash we had, and had to redo all the bail picking again, so yeah, that was fun. But yeah, so we quickly got the sugar beet sorted, so that needs to go down to uh, the sugar mill. We'll get a worker on that, so let's see, sort there, and just go there, go there. Ah, it's going to be on the roads. Fine, fine, fair enough. That is all fine by me. I uh, yet got some produce to sell. I think, yeah, heck it. Do a little cheeky sell now to end off the episode. There we go, just go. Bang, bang. Deliver. To one of these. Deliver it to their please. Think it can. And wrong accounts again. Yep, yeah, there we go, that's on its way. Lovely jubbly. There's a 1.35 million years of silage. And yeah, I just went around and picked up everything we had. Transfer a couple of wool packs over so we can get the last of the apple juice. And apple honey, and that is a very tipsy topsy. So, 
So, show the quick look at prices, see where the best place is for everything. So, if you head down to the strawberries, best place to sell them is at 995, yeah, cookie sell station asphalt. And for the apple juice and apple honey, best place to sell those is. Farmers market or sell everything container. Uh, sell everything container. It is. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I need to worry about strawberries. I'm gonna get that extra grand or two. We'll just whack everything at the sell everything container and set it there. That means we've got to do a U-turn. And there we go, swap the tractors around because we were having too many moments of it just falling over, so yeah, let's, let's completely forget about that. Yeah, let's just forget about that, put that all behind us. There we go, and we are selling. There we go, that's all the strawberries. Selling the cakes. And yes, there we go. Another load, and that is the last of it. Last bit of cakes, and yeah, I'll say we made a decent bit of money there over 1.2 million now. That was 144 grand just from excess and some cakes and that. But yeah, the main money was up from like the apple honey and apple juice. That is so profitable. And uh, check in the worker. Yep, yeah, that's put the sugar beet cut in. That is processing. Get some sugar out in a few moments. I'm sure of that. And yeah, I'll go straight into the apple. Yeah, I just remember. Yeah, the apple honey factory. Yes, yeah, can't believe you've got so much off from this. So, yes, we'll make sure that's switched off. That's still going. And yeah, at the moment, we've got the tree set to distribution. Just because I was getting those, like, hit around the 10,000 year mark for the apple. So, I thought, heck it, just switch it up. And yeah, get some tr apples transferred over. So, if you have a look, oh, 10,000. Now it's back up to 30,000 here, so that is happy. That is all good. Any more honey? No, no more honey. But yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave it today. So next time, what we're we'll going to be doing is send all the bells, send all the silage, and figure out a way to get all this straw in here 2.2 million litres of it. Ignore the apple, apple juice and apples. Yeah, we'll get all that out and sold. Whether or not we do that in bell forms or what? Because, yeah, looking at the traders. Uh, what about the tipper body? That is 106,000 litres. Nope, I am not going unrealistic. You can say a hundred thousand years is a bit eh, semi unrealistic. Hundred and twenty thousand years there for the underbelly. Yeah, again, not nothing unrealistic. Hundred and eight and a half thousand years. But yeah, there ain't just but I've got so much of it to do. No, I'm not going to go down that route either. Yeah, what's that? One and a half a million litres. That will require just two trips and bam, we've done it, but... Uh, I'm sure we'll figure out something. There's always the option of baiting it. But, God, like, how am I going to deal with that? It's like... Ah, it's going to be a lot of straw all over the fields to bathe it. Unless we something, use something like this. 
The only downside... I mean, it's not the wrapping bit, it'll just make it big enough. But yeah, like, what are the size of these bells here? Like, that's the smaller ones, 5,000 litres. Five. Eleven thousand litre bells. That's gonna be the biggest one. So, eleven thousand litres per bell, and we've got two point two three five million litres. That is two hundred and three point one eight bells. That is the bell limit. That's just over the bell limit. And yeah, that's going to require a lot of trips, so... Unless we grab it all and dump it in the field and just windrow it, maybe? I don't know, I'll figure something out. But anyways, that's what we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.